My dear friends and dear subscribers, this time I am here for medical students who are doing their UG and PG. Uh, here I am going to discuss a short case that is a case uh, of an ulcer that can present in any part of the body. So how you should present a case of ulcer to your examiner, I will just tell you a few important points that you should not miss while you are presenting the case. We all know that ulcer is breached in continuity of the epithelium either in the skin or the mucous membrane. So this is a definition which can be asked to you uh, while you are presenting the case of ulcer. So what is important point that you have to see while you are presenting the case of ulcer is the site of an ulcer then what was the mode of, uh, of uh, injury or the how the ulcer started that, that you have to say then uh, you have to elaborate about the ulcer which I am going to discuss shortly and uh, then the treatment management treatment part will be there so, so let's take a case uh, where there is an ulcer over the left leg of one patient so the case presentation will go like this sir the name of my patient is rameshwar he is 7 he is 28 year old male he, is, uh, he has studied uh, till class 12 he is a, a regi uh, resident of ajmer and uh, he was admitted to this hospital uh, today that is 10th of uh, october and i am examining the patient today the chief complaint of my patient is a non healing ulcer over the left leg since last two months and discharge from the ulcer since last 15 days so these two are the chief complaint now let's elaborate this complaint history of present illness my patient was apparently well uh, two months back when he uh, when he when, when he noticed an uh, an ulcer over his left leg it was insidious in onset uh, before the ulcer started there was a mild irritation over the area with redness that has progressed to an ulcer so this is a uh, sort of a spontaneous ulcer so um, then the the ulcer when is uh, when he noticed the ulcer it was a very small size he told it was around the size of around half into um, uh, half centimeter then it, it has gradually increased to the present size what he says is around uh, two by two centimeter so there is no history of any sudden increase in size of the ulcer now we have to see what can be the mode of uh, uh, mode of uh, the starting of this ulcer there is no no negativity there is no history of trauma to the area there is no history of any um, uh, the infection or any insect bite to the area then there is then other thing you in this age we, there is no history of diabetes that can lead to the ulcer there is no history of uh, tobacco chewing or smoking uh, that can further lead to the ulcer there is no history of fever now say what other thing are associated with the ulcer there is no history of fever uh, now uh, now second complaint is discharge from the ulcer since last 15 days the patient says there is a discharge from ulcer which is scanty serious swelling and sometimes there is a prolonged discharge uh, the, um, uh, he says that the, 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 um, if um, he used to dress the ulcer and around one pad is partially soaked so in 24 hours um, so and the discharge is serious swelling to so the prolonged type of discharge it is a uh, um, non foul smelling discharge that is there from the ulcer so these are the few important uh, things that you have to tell while you are describing the history of present illness now what uh, can this be a malignant ulcer or the simple ulcer the duration is uh, around two months you have to say there is no any other ulcer in, in the uh, in the uh, leg or there is no swelling or the groin region to say whether there is any lymph node in the enlargement there is no history of anorexia loss of weight uh, all these things you can mention if you have to uh, do to take down uh, that this ulcer is a malignant so what are the various causes that can lead to the in this age group lead to the ulcer uh, or the area so the, the cause can be a trauma then um, septically handled wound which is not properly handled wound is there then there is any history of peripheral vascular disease is common there is no eye of auditor there is no smoking or tobacco chewing then can it be a varicose vein the uh, varicose vein you can say there is no dilatation of the veins of the lower limb there is no history of prolonged standing there is i already told there is no history of diabetes now this is the history of present illness in short case there is not much elaboration that is needed then you come to uh, the past history there is no history of diabetes hypertension tuberculosis uh, then um, personal history patient is a non-smoker non-alcoholic uh, and um, 
uh, he is vegetarian by diet family history nurse second one general physical exemption my patient is 28 year old and gentleman he is moderately built and nurses lying comfortably over the bed and uh, um, uh, and he is well co uh, conscious to time place and person there is no pallor cyanosis jaundice ictus or general is no nephropathy bp of the patient is 120 by 80 mm of mercury pulse is 72 per minutes felt on the right radial non collapsing non bulging non rate and normal volume pulse now let's come to the local exemption what are the important thing is you have to uh, before i uh, present the local exemption i will just tell you the how this ulcer we will present what important things you have to look for the ulcer first is what is the site of the ulcer second is what is the number of ulcers then third is what is shape of the ulcer then what is how is surrounding skin surrounding skin then you go how how what is how, describe margin then describe uh, uh, edges describe floor describe base describe lymph nodes these are the things we used we have to describe while we are presenting the case site i say uh, just see just let's take ulcer is somewhere over here fine that's it so uh, site of the ulcer we say that the ulcer is present over the left leg in the distal part now from the bony prominence you have to take say uh, from the knee uh, it is around uh, he, it is vertically around 10 cm down then from the ankle it is 4 cm height then uh, from then from the you can from the bony prominence from the uh, medial malleolus lateral medial malleolus you have to say define what is the exact site of the ulcer then um, what is the site then what is size of the ulcer size you have to tell uh, whether it is 2 by 2 transverse at transverse and vertical direction you have to say about the ulcer the what is the number of ulcer how many how, how many ulcers are present what is shape of the ulcer the shape can be the punched out ulcer it can be well defined margin it can be irregular margin then surrounding skin how the surrounding skin is in the whether in, in the surrounding is skin there is a, a cellulitis there can be hyperpigmentation this thing can be there then what is the two important thing they have to see uh, in the ulcer is uh, how is the what is the margin about i will just differentiate between the margin and the edge so let's see let's assume that this is the ulcer now um, this what you see over here is the floor of the ulcer now so I just define the ulcer this is the this is the floor of the ulcer on which the ulcer lies is base of the ulcer then this is from the ulcer to the normal skin this is margin of the ulcer then from the floor to the margin this is edge of the ulcer is is it clear there should not be confusion between the margin and edge of the ulcer so from where the ulcer ends and and the uh, normal skin uh, this is the margin of the ulcer from floor to the margin this is the edge of the ulcer then what you see is floor of the ulcer and on which the ulcer is lying is base of the ulcer so you have to define like the what is margin edge floor and uh, this so uh, margin uh, edge uh, floor base and then the lymph node you have to define now let's define this ulcer what is present in our patient now we can say the there is an a single ulcer that is present in the left lower leg around 10 cm from the knee and below uh, 10 cm below the knee and from the 4 uh, cm above the ankle and then uh, it is uh, oval in shape then uh, the surrounding skin is hyperpigmented uh, in this area then uh, what is the margin the, now the the, the the margin of the ulcer is hyperpigmented or is cellulitis is there or now what are the next is the age what are the various type of the age of the ulcer that you have to define so depending upon the how is now depending upon uh, how is the shape we define how what are the various margins that can be there in the ulcer so now the first type of the margin is if this is a ulcer and if it is 
So the ulcer is like this, undermined. So this mud is called undermined. This is seen in tuberculosis, undermined margin. This means the margin will be somewhere like it. It it's, it it will be somewhere like this, somewhat like this, like this, like this. Because the invasion of tuberculous bacteria is more in the subcutaneous plane, so it, it will invade this plane more than the than the top uh, of, uh, plane. So there is undermined margin. Second type of the ulcer is. With the punched out margin, this is how you with the punching machine you do this type of margin is called punched out margin. Punched out margin. That's uh, sorry edge. Uh, the undermined edge, the punched out edge. Then um, next type of the edge is what you see in the healing ulcer is the sloping type of edge. This is sloping edge. Sloping edge you see when the ulcer is healing. Sloping. In the sloping edge, at the, the margin will be slightly reddish bluish in color, which shows the sign of healing is there. Not the next margin is a is a beaded margin. This type of beaded margin, uh, 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 beaded. Sorry, again, well, this is the beaded edge you see in the basal cell carcinoma, where in between the two beads there is more of the necrosis. So it goes like this. Then next is the last is uh, is is uh, mm, see this is a this is a, a short of cauliflower growth. This which is seen in the squamous cell carcinoma. So various uh, edges. What you see is undermined edge, punched out edge, sloping edge. Uh, then draw uh, this. This is beading or uh, seen in the basal cell carcinoma. Then cauliflower type, this is seen cauliflower. In squamous cell carcinoma, this is rolled out or beaded. These are the various edges that you have to design. So this punched out is seen mainly in the syphilis, which is the gametous type of the ulcer. Sloping is you can you find in the healing ulcer. Then uh, rolled out or beaded, you see in the basal cell carcinoma, and as the cauliflower like you see in the squamous cell carcinoma. In in, in our case, uh, it was uh, say uh, sloping edge we could see uh, in the in our case. So this is the what you you have to define about the margin and edge. The next thing that you have to define is the floor. Floor is what you see. Now in our case, the, the floor showed a uh, slurve and a purulent discharge what was present over the floor. So this is the floor what we see. Now to define the base of the ulcer, what you have to do, you have, have to wear the gloves and um, um, you have to hold the ulcer and try to move it to the lower, uh, move it over the uh, base, over the attachment. It might be attached to the, the muscle, tendon or the bone. The depth you will judge that will tell what is the base of the ulcer. This is you have to design uh, the site of the ulcer, shape of the ulcer, number of the ulcer, surrounding skin, margin, edge, floor, base. This is how you define the ulcer. Then you have to look for the palpation, uh, the anterior tibial artery, posterior tibial artery, popliteal popli popli artery, whether pulsation is there, is present or not. Any engorgements is there, you have to mention. Then you have to look in the thigh region, where there is involvement of any lymph node. If the lymph nodes are involved, you have to mention two to three lymph nodes, around one into one centimeter could be felt over the uh, left uh, groin region or inguinal region. Then. Uh, then uh, finally you can ask the patient to walk and see whether this ulcer is affecting mobility in any type the, this is you uh, how you define the, uh, the so in the inspection you told about this uh, about the inspective finding then in the palpation you go you have to wear the gloves and you have to look for any tenderness or the ulcer bleeds on uh, on touch and how is the base of the ulcer this you see in the in the uh, Palpation in the palpation only you look for the arterial supply whether arterial pulsation you can feel or not that you have to mention over here. Then uh, this is how you present the case of ulcer. The various questions will be asked 
about a about uh, what is the cause of the ulcer uh, how you are going to manage this ulcer so depending upon what if, if it is tubercular a att you have to do for for any case the ulcer will need a thorough debridement and dressing this you have to say in all the things for the dressing you can use eosol solution you can betadine hydrogen peroxide normaline is a very good dressing reagent so this thing you have to do then um, uh, placenta tax then other uh, uh, the ointment that's available you have to this uh, ulcer the what investigation you would like to do i would like to do routine blood investigation then pus for culture and sensitivity of the area then x ray of the leg is very very important to see whether there is any osteomyelitis is there or not whether ulcer might have reached uh, or ulcer might have started from the bone or it has reached the bone so osteomyelitis there or not if needed if you are not able to feel the pulse you can do for, go for the color doppler study to define the um, what is the exactly cause then uh, the treatment will depend depending upon the uh, cause of the ulcer so this is the uh, the thing now uh, i will just tell about a very few important ulcer one is a diabetic ulcer now in the diabetic ulcer you say this is a uh, ulcer um, uh, that is because of the three things in the diabetic ulcer one is because of the decrease uh, sensation second is because of decrease arterial supply and third is because of the infection due to the glucose laden tissue so three causes that leads to the diabetic ulcer is the decrease nerve supply as the patient is the area become insensitive callus is formed uh, leads to the malperforance then uh, um, there is a decrease blood supply that resist healing then the glucose laden tissue is itself a source of infection these are the three things that leads to the 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 diabetic ulcer if the question is asked you can define if it is a venous ulcer i have already discussed in one of my video in the venous ulcer unless until you treat the vein uh, varicose vein the ulcer is very unlikely to heal one ulcer is the marjolin ulcer this this type of the ulcer is seen in the long standing burn uh, or the long standing traumatic energy or uh, um, traumatic injury or aseptically treated wound now the characteristic of marjolin marjolin and march characteristic of marjolin ulcer is that uh, it, it is slow growing it is a this is this is the low grade squamous cell carcinoma slow growing decreased uh, vascularity is there so metastasis is not there the lymphatics are not involved so lymph nodes are not involved it only metastasizes uh, if it uh, affect the normal skin otherwise if it affect in the particular skin that then you won't see any matter but it is a low grade squamous cell carcinoma and the treatment is excision of the area with 1 cm clear margin that you do if it is case of the marjolin ulcer the arterial ulcer i have defined venous ulcer i have designed then tropic ulcer tropic ulcer c r o t i c tropic ulcer is basically uh, is a neurogenic ulcer where there is uh, tapes dorsalis or the diabetic food that this leads to the tropic ulcer then tropical ulcer another is tropical ulcer mainly it was seen in the tropical areas in the foot and leg because of the travel injury because of the bacteroides fusiformis side of the bacteria this leads to the tropical to tropical side tropical ulcer this is a question that can be asked to you then uh, syphilitic ulcer or gumetous ulcer then uh, your um, traumatic ulcer so these uh, are the thing that can be asked uh, as a question to you and the treatment i have already told so i hope uh, i am able to enlighten you some give you some more extra knowledge about the ulcer and this is how you have to present the case in examination i wish you like my video please do subscribe to my channel and share my channel and i will be coming with more and the more short and long cases you can see uh, my um, playlist of the case presentation where i have uh, um, i have um, uh, there's a list of 18 to 20 uh, long and short cases that, that can help you passing your exam uh, if you want to know any question or want to case presentation on, on any particular case you can uh, put a comment in my comment box thanks for watching my video please do subscribe my channel thank you very much